My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to another Hearthstone adventure. That's right, they have released another solo adventure. They announced it, and then it was basically out the next day. It was fucking insane. I didn't even have any time to save up. Go oh, whoops. Never mind, I evidently did. Good timing, adventurer. Welcome to the Hall of Explorers. I'm glad to be here. Elise Starseeker, is it? We've got a lead on the three pieces of the Staff of Origination. Can you help us recover them? Three pieces? Ah, okay, so you get the three pieces and then you have to do something with the staff, I assume. So, what are we going to be earning in this Temple of Osiris rewards? Now, this is the beautiful thing. It's got all of these plus eight other cards. Are you fucking kidding me? The amount of cards that this adventure is actually introducing is absolutely insane. Temple of Osiris, buy it with 700 gold because I can... God, I love this theme song in the background as well. Dun, 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 dun. Now we've just got to hope that we can actually get in. I should have probably purchased this before we started here, just in case it doesn't work. Because, of course, solo adventures, releases, and being able to purchase and play the game are pretty much mutually exclusive. If you remember back when Nax Ramus came out, or there wasn't really that much hub hub about uh, Black Rock Mountain, but specifically Nax Ramus. Uh, if you purchased the game too early, you were locked out of it for like weeks and they had to fix your account manually. You had to send in Blizzard uh, Battle.net tickets. It was absolutely horrid. Uh, we're still locked on this screen. And then of course there was all the lag. I have no clue how they had that much lag in a single player mode, but... There was a lot of lag in single player mode. Okay. Oh, there we go. We're actually... This, this is good. Waiting for authorization is more than it was showing us last time. Purchase is complete. Fuck yes. Uh, the Light of Discovery. Welcome to the Legion... Sorry, the League of Explorers. Don't forget your hat. You can't go exploring without a hat. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about those cards as they become relevant. I can't believe that it actually just worked. I was getting ready to have to scrap this episode and start recording again. Wee! Oh god, it looks so much prettier. Damn! The staff lies in the ancient temple of Orsis. Reno's inside already, and he needs your help. Okay. This is the Zephyr of Jin, no? To the rod, but he just had to rub the shiny lamp he found. Ah, <sighs> just had to. Of course he did. Uh, Jin's intuition. Draw a card, give your opponent a wish. Help Reno find the first piece of the staff. Wait, Reno, don't rob the lamp. Okay, so this is a genie kind of thing going on. Um, if I'm being given wishes, I need the ability to survive until I can spend them. I don't know if they're going to be zero mana, three mana, five mana, ten mana. I don't know, right? So I'm assuming that a wish is going to be a spell with a positive effect. So our opponent gets to draw cards for free, but we get wishes. It's also an auto cast. Excellent. So I'm just going to start this one with my standard Wallet Warrior deck. Oh, yeah! I'm going to get a quick death! Fucking finally! I've always wanted one of those. This is actually a pretty good opening hand for, uh, for a deck like this. I love this background. I'm going to need to play with it. I'm Reno Jackson, world-renowned archaeologist, explorer, and treasure hunter. Hello, Reno Jackson. Control of a magpie. Reno Jackson has some serious fucking forearms going on. Did you see that shit? It was twice the size of his head. Okay. Discover a minion, a wish for glory. Okay, that makes sense. So there's zero mana. Now, the discover mechanic I should probably talk about a little. In fact, I should definitely do it first. The discover mechanic offers you three different... Oh my god. That's gonna be cool. It offers you three different minions... Well, no, it doesn't offer you three different minions, right? So, scrap everything I just said, right? The discover mechanic always follows itself. The discover mechanic, the discover mechanic. Good lord, this is difficult to get out. Uh, always follows itself with a qualifier. So, discover a minion, discover a spell, discover a three-cost card, you know, something like that. It will offer you anything that is available for your class or the neutrals in that area. So, this will offer me only 
warrior minions and neutral minions. It can offer me three, any minions, right? And then I get to pick them. So it's not offering from my deck, it's offering from the game in general and only from collectible cards. So we're definitely going to be discovering every turn. Uh, I don't really have that many battle cries in my deck, so the Stranglethorn Tiger is going to be a better proposition value-wise for me. And then I want to start building up armor, so I attack before I armor up, of course. Discover a four-cost card. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, Fierce Monkey! That's going to be the best warrior common card. It's incredible. Did I ever tell you about the time I infiltrated the ogres of Dire Mall in disguise? Yes. Oh, fuck. I accidentally clicked way too quickly. Whoops. I think I just passed up another Stranglethorn Saga, but I'm not certain. That's kind of annoying, but actually it might work here, because it kills that and trades evenly. Hmm. Now, another thing that I should consider for this deck specifically is my opponent is drawing a card every turn and only really playing one or two cards. Yeah, so it's probably a good idea. Gain two? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's probably going to be a pretty good idea. Well, how about sneaking through the Blackrock Lyceum to acquire? Yes. Stop interrupting me, Reno Jackson. I'm just here to admire your forearms and talk about the video game. Uh, it's probably going to be a pretty good idea to have things that are better when my hand is full and when my opponent's hand is full, because he's basically filling both our hands at the same time. Um... So, no matter what I do, I'm going to lose a card by killing that Pit Snake. So, attack, bash, shield. I mean, I could use an execute instead of a shield bash, and that actually seems like it's going to be a pretty good idea for me. Because um, I'm going to have more shield bashes later. Whereas I don't know if I'll have execute triggers. Also, I need to start getting some cards out of my hand if I'm going to be using a Wish for More Wishes. I can't believe that worked. Discover a spell. Ooh, Bash. Bash is going to be excellent for me. And a Wish for Glory. Take this out, see, actually. Because I have uh, still a Gore Hell, a Fiery War Axe, and two Death Bites in my deck. Oh, shit. Did I just fucking... Yeah, I filled my hand. I'm going to burn the top card. Huh? Are you overloaded? Up, oh, rip Gromash. Yeah, you're not overloaded. I don't know why you did that. Uh, okay. So this is exactly when I want this, and I definitely have to do the wish for more wishes and then turn these into things now. Because I want things that I can reduce the cost of. Shield block is going to be excellent. Two mana shield block, that is. Uh, shield maiden is going to be excellent. If he can't kill Emperor Thoris on this turn, we pretty much just win. So my opponent gets to draw a card without giving me anything. Uh, Lava Shock. Well, rip, we win. It just, it's just value overload at this point. We're going to get way too many savings on all of these. Oh, uh, we lost the bash from our deck, but we have their bash. We're not selling. Um, I don't need to do the draw card. I'll go with the shield main. Basically, I'm just going to build up so much armor that my opponent can't do anything. Pretty much. Lava shock for removal, but I've already gotten the value out of this that I need. Forgotten torch. Against the minion, can you finish it? No. Weird. Okay, so Forgotten Torch is actually pretty interesting. It's deal 3 damage as a mage spell. Deal 3 damage, shuffle a Roaring Torch into your deck that deals 6 damage. Now, the Roaring Torch also costs 3 mana, so it basically makes the rest of your deck more valuable. And it also gives you basically a 31 card deck, which is interesting. It's a new mechanic for them. I also have another Emperor Tharasan in my deck, so... I wonder if I should continue looking for it. Let's discover a spell first. Bolster. Yeah, that's a good idea for me. Uh, I'm not going to need to draw cards and I'm not going to need to bolster, so I may as well just take slam, even if it's not going to be that great. Then burn your health down. With the lemons. Uh, speaking of not needing to draw cards, let's 
develop a card on board to allow us to draw cards. Wish for more wishes. So I wonder what the heroic version of this is going to be. Uh, if I manage to draw a weapon, then I win, right? Because then I'll have the charge from the South Sea Deckhand. I mean, well, that weapon just wins the game by itself. But instead, I'll use it just to punish that. And then I'll just play with my food for a while. Wish for glory, discover a minion. Oh, yeah, another Screwjank Clunker. Fucking finally, I was really looking for one of those. Yeah, it's charge time. Let's, uh... Oh, no, I can't cast charge. Damn, we lose. I can't cast the charge. Genie of Zephyrs. Whenever you cast a spell on a friendly minion, cast a copy of it in this one. So you definitely want to be running that. And another card, Jeweled Scarab. Battle Cry, discover a three-cost card. Yeah, it helps you curve out. Might be okay in Arena, but it's not going to be good. Because you have to get, like, the world's most valuable three costs for it to be worth it. We've made it to the temple's vault. You handle the guard. I'll take care of the rest. Sun Raider Phyrex. Uh, whomsoever controls the rod is immune. So how do I control the rod? Hmm. There has to be a way to take it from them. Is it possible that I've already lost because I just don't have mind control in my deck and I need... Oh no, the death rattle is going to be change ownership of the rod. That's what it's going to be. Now, if we're immune, we're just going to be stacking up armor. Sorry, didn't I throw that shield maiden back? Oh, interesting. Um, if we're immune, we're just going to be stacking up armor. So that's pretty much just going to be how that is for us. Yeah, surrender this to your opponent as expected. Cool. So they're just going to have a pretty valuable deck, I assume. Why would you do that? If anything, you want to protect that from me, not let me take it. Weird. Now this sets up my ability to kill it next turn. Oh, cool. Why are you letting me draw cards? I don't get it. You're an insane man. That's my rod now. Haha, mine. Hmm. Are you gonna buff the rod? No. Well, I kind of. It's an embarrassing move for you, to be honest. Okay, so the AoE from that and from Wild Pyromancer actually helps me take down my opponent's board. I protect the temple. Ah, Tolva Hoplite. So I want the Tolva Hoplite to die as soon as I get the rod so that I can protect myself from the damage. So I'm not going to take the 5 damage, and I'm also not going to take the 5 damage from this. Right. Alright, I'm starting to understand this a little more. If my opponent wants to kill this, they're going to have to give me armor as well. Okie dokie. Thanks for the armor. Cruel Taskmaster. I kind of just want to develop the Emperor Tharas on this turn. So I will. And I kill to get the rod so that my opponent has to have... Well, basically it's acting as a lightning rod for me, right? They have to go for it first rather than Emperor. And they're definitely not going for that Emperor. It's pretty good for me. So the reason that I wanted to use this deck specifically is because I get to leverage my health for immediate benefit. Uh, I can kill that mounted raptor with just the Cruel Taskmaster in the attack, but I can also use the Cruel Taskmaster plus that. 
next turn. Okay, I'll leave the Mountain Raptor on the field. That makes sense to me. Because this enables for the wombo combo of, you know, Gromash plus Cruel Taskmaster plus Bash. Plus, my weapon is going to be able to take the Rod of the Sun back. So hot. Ah, it does nothing. Excellent. Uh, do we have lethal? Yes, we do. Okay. It's Bash, Gromash, Cruel Task. And then all face. All face all the time, baby. Boom. So, it looks like I might be able to use this deck for all of these ones. Summoning Stone. Oh, we're going to have an escape challenge. Excellent. Got the first piece. Now we got to get out of here before we get squished. Okay, encounter new obstacles on escape. The temple is collapsing. Run. Right. Uh, I will be including this wallet warrior list, deck list in the description down below, although it is pretty damn expensive uh, in terms of dust. Oh shit, this opponent has no deck. Those obstacles are going to have to be strong. But yeah, I'll include it in the description down below. It is pretty expensive, but you can get it without actually having to spend money on packs. I know, I got it without spending money on packs, but it does take a long time, so I understand if you need a budget option. Um, for people looking for budget options to defeat stuff with, uh, really... A really good way to find those is to check Reddit. Hey, a glowing pool. Wanna check it out? Stop! You don't have time for that. Huh. Okay, so I assume we just don't get the benefits uh, in heroic mode. Nine turns to escape, so we just need to survive, I guess. Well, gain the mana crystal. Slam. Sorry, uh, bash. Ooh, a waste of snapshot. Uh, take ten damage or no damage at random, or take five damage. Who dares wins? Oh, that did not look like fun. It wasn't. I can't really do anything about that one right now. That boulder's huge. Get out of the way. The rod. Cyrus God has divine shield. At the end of your turn, destroy the minion on the left. If I could somehow give that card to my opponent. Although I can't, but if I could, that would be awesome. Can't really do anything about that. Okay, the rumbling's getting worse. Oh, I bet the whole ceiling collapses next turn. Well, what's the bet that the whole ceiling collapses next turn? Damn it. Oh, hey, actually, it's a good thing. Restore 10 health to your hero or draw two cards. Draw two cards and then Emperor Tharasan is actually a really good idea. Uh oh. He doesn't look happy. I think he wants his jam back. You fucker. I did not know that was gonna happen. I've lost already then. Uh, yeah, am I dead? I am dead. Let's see if they try and attack this instead. Okay, so this deck is uh, probably much better suited to being tackled with something like, I want to say, hmm, Priest. Hang on, let's check out my Like a Vulgin deck. Now, I've changed my Like a Vulgin deck many, many times recently, just so I could do challenges with it, but I just need the ability to kill big things, basically. 
so Vol'jin is going to be pretty good. Shadow Madness is going to be okay. Shadow Word Death is pretty important. So it's Big Game Hunter, Shrink Meister, Shadow Word Pain. Yeah, all of those are pretty important. Um, I'm noticing that I don't have any uh, Cabal Shadow Priests in here. Excuse me. Cabal Shadow Priests. So how am I going to find room for these? I don't think I'm going to need Holy Nova, but I will keep at least one just in case. And I don't know if I'll need a second Shadow Madness, so I'll put both of those in. And that should be good enough for me right now. Okay. Now, the reason I want to be running this one specifically is because of Shadow Word, Death, Big Game Hunter, Mind Control, you know, Shadow Cabal Priest, obviously. Sorry, Cabal Shadow Priest. And also for the fact that I'll be able to heal myself so that if I do get in a horrible position, well, I can deal with it. How the hell did that happen? I already finished my drink. It's okay, we got this shit. I wonder if we can force our opponent to draw into fatigue. I know that... Uh, should throw those back. I know that if you verse... Patchwork, I believe it was, from Nax Ramus, you can use the Jeeves card to force him to draw into fatigue. So is, is this going to be the same every time? I wonder. I don't need to kill that yet. Especially when this exists. Hey, a bit of spice. Who dares wins? So close. I mean, if I was gonna deal... That's my bad. If I was gonna deal with one of them using the Cabal Shadow Priest, there's no reason that I shouldn't have just... Hmm... That's my bad. Okay, I fucked up. Now, they do give us a minion, so it's possible that we can use that. Can I leave without doing anything? Nope. Alright, let's see what this does, because I don't want to... No, wait, that's the one I did last time! I'm an idiot. Uh... Okay, I can give that two health. Swap for the health stats. But then I'm dead, right? Because I can't kill it after I give it two health. Best I can do is Sludge Belcher and then kill this, so we'll... In terms of keeping myself alive, that's the best I can do. Okay. Is that good? That was close. Glad I could get you out of the way. You're welcome. That is very good for me. All right, Doctor Boom time. Sarath Temple Guard. That's not particularly big. Um, luckily, we do have Vol'jin. Right, we can't attack the face. Of course we can't. That wouldn't even make sense. So Vol'jin is there for big health removal on targets that I can't really otherwise deal with. Obsidian Destroyer. just says don't go here <laughs> uh encounter a seven seven war golem get one turn close to the exit i think that's actually going to be worth it for me and i think so because using the shadow madness i can actually just clear the board this turn i can also draw a card if i'd like Shadow of Death, excellent. That's going to be beautiful for us. Ugh, why is it always 
Lords. It's a little bit of copyright infringement right there. Um, I could just Arcanize Circle. You've got maximum stat of 10 on health. You know what, I'll Arcanize Circle. I should have healed myself first, though. Almost there. I can see the sun. Oh, never mind. We actually did get out at that very point. Lovely. Is there a final battle that we have to do? We made it. Oh, I never thought I'd be happy to see this desert. Desert. Oh, I think I need water. You probably do, Reno Jackson. Ancient shade. The class challenges are unlocked. And we've gained the attention of some incredible evil that has just appeared on our screen. Next episode, we're going to be taking on those class challenges. Until then, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. I have just accidentally pulled the headphones out of my ear. The name of the game has been Hearthstone Adventures, specifically the League of Explorers. Hopefully you've been in embroying hopefully you've been enjoying yourself if you have please like it does help me get my content out to new people there's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my uh, content on the hearthstone adventures arena tavern brawl and ranked past present and future and hopefully we'll see you next time god i stumbled over that incredible amount